It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What everybody's looking at is a surplus fiberglass center console that we got a little while back from a big surplus outfit over in Sarasota, Florida called Marine Surplus. And we've done a lot of beautification to the center console from whence we got it. And the reason that I'm kind of mentioning it, guys, is I want you to take a look inside the center console, all right? Now, do you see the rod holders that we mounted on both sides? of the console from the outside, and you see that opening with that beautiful starboard hatch and doorway. Okay, we got that from BoatOutfitters.com. Well, what I'm thinking about doing today on the program beginning is removing the center console from the boat, it's, it's not mounted in, in order to kind of position it so that we can mount some mounting blocks for some different electrical components. What today's program is all about, this is actually part two of a wiring episode. And good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back in the boat shop. Now, recently on the program, we were at a company as well in Sarasota called Pacer Group, and we were showing you how they manufacture probably the best quality marine wire in the world. And we have such a special treat for you. We've lined up an expert electrical engineer from Pacer Group to join us today to teach us the proper way of how to wire a boat. And I'm telling you, you might want to take out a paper and pencil and jot down some notes because this is going to be really, really amazing. Now, the program, like always, is going to be jam-packed full of information and tips and advice. But speaking of tips, guys, here's an expert in the marine industry going to teach us another aspect, how to keep all of our boats ship-shaped. So let's listen up in order to learn more.